Hey Geography Peeps, welcome back to Flag Slash Fan Friday. Hope you liked the Guinea Bissau episode. Yes, Mr. and Mrs. Information got married. It was a fun episode and I'm kind of surprised that it actually got a lot more views than I thought it would get. I guess you guys were really curious to learn about it. So thank you for being curious. So we're gonna jump into the flag, but before we do, I'm gonna do the Fan Friday package opening part in my living room. You'll see why in a bit. So without further ado. <laughs> By the way, I forgot to mention that Geography Now now has a Snapchat, so if you'd like to follow, feel free to look me up at GeoNowBarbie. All right, I know you guys just want to jump in, so let's just do it. The flag is a tricolor of one upright rectangular band of red on the hoist, followed by two adjacent yellow and green horizontal bands to the right of it. The flag was adopted from the flag of the African Party of Independence of Guinea and Cape Verde, which looked exactly the same, except the letters of the Portuguese acronym were on the left hoist box under the black star. Once again, the flag was inspired off of pan-Africanist movement colors, and also specifically after the flag of Ghana. The Black Star of Africa represents the people of Africa. The green stands for the forest, the yellow stands for the mineral wealth, and the red stands for the cashew fruit. Cashews actually have a red tincture when they come off the trees. Ah, you fell for it. The red stands for... Once again, thank you, Ken, for that animation. By the way, follow him on Instagram if you want. That's like his only social media platform. Keep in mind, this format was also used for the flag of Cape Verde as they were kind of joined with Guinea-Bissau at one point, kind of, during independence. The only difference is they used a wreath around the star. Now, Guinea-Bissau doesn't have a coat of arms, but rather they have an emblem. The image contains, once again, a black star of Africa on a red circle surrounded by olive branches sprouting from a seashell. The seashell symbolizes the location of the country on the west coast of Africa, all adorned with a banner that reads Unidade du and progresso, which means unity, struggle, and progress. And that's about it. Now you know what time it is. Geography fan mail time. So the reason why I can't film in my room is because this is like the most I've ever gotten. You guys, this is all from last week. So I'm gonna try to open up as many as I can right now. However, I gotta make it quick. I can't make this video go on for like 20 minutes. All right, this box is from Lior from Israel. Wow. Hello, Paul. I'm Lior from Safed in Israel. He sent me a hat of his squadron, of course. An Israeli flag. Ah, these really cool cups that are specifically designed for coffee, and he sent me Turkish coffee. Thank you so much, Lear. Really appreciate this. Buck from North Carolina. There's also a suction cup flag of Kosovo. Serbians, I know, just calm down. And there is also a 13 colonies flag. Whoa! Oh, this is so cool. Oh, this is like the first flag that the US had, the 13 colonies. Thank you so much, this is really cool. Okay, this is pretty crazy. Two geography peeps sent letters with uh, banknotes from Honduras. Micah sends a five lempira and Vilma sends a 20 lempira. Oh, and Vilma sends a little Honduras uh, keychain. Fish. Bren Manuel from the Philippines. He drew like all of the individual islands of the Philippines. Bren, you sent me like a whole school report. This is, a... you must love your country and I, I appreciate that. I appreciate the enthusiasm you have for the Philippines. Uh, Sid from Massachusetts, thank you for sending this letter, and uh, he made up a really cool language on his own. Okay, this is a little bit of a serious one. First of all, Chris, thank you for the letter. I, I read it. However, at the end, he says, I have included a picture of our dear friend, Anthony. If you can, would you be able to do a shout out to our friend? We haven't seen him in a long time, and we want him to know that we still love him and miss him dearly. So this is a picture of Anthony, and uh, Anthony, if you're watching, uh, please contact Chris. Uh, him and his family misses you. So um, I'm going to post this up on social media, too. I don't know if he's missing. I don't know what's up with that, but um, thank you for letting me know. Um, I really hope you find him, Chris. John, your letter made me laugh. You said, inside I've included a badly drawn Slovak flag. <laughs> Shirley from Singapore. Oh, wow. Really cool pictures of Singapore. And uh, these are really awesome keychains that have like landmark. Thanks so much, Shirley. And uh, Julie, I got your card. Julie actually went to the garage sale that I had uh, last year before I moved my family out to LA. Julie, really appreciate this. Ben from Massachusetts. Oh, organic syrup. <laughs> he also made some drawings. This is from Lucas from Cyprus. Ooh, Cyprus. I never got something from Cyprus so far. Ooh, it's lemon delights. So Lucas, you know about my diet. I can't eat it because Luke is watching me. However, I'm gonna save this and five weeks from now, I'm gonna be off that diet and I can probably eat these. Thank you, Lucas. Ooh, hold on. Dust got on me. Three cool postcards. Jarrett from Seattle. Lindsay from New York, who says it would mean the world to me if you put this on fan slash flag Friday. It's on. And uh, this one from Pennsylvania. However, the person didn't write their name. Thank you. Okay, this was a really cool letter from Nathan from Florida. He drew a little comic that's me and him. And on the other side, he drew all the levels of the poop care index. Level one, full domain. Level two, tag along. Level three, organized outskirts. Level four, cattle call. Level five, Asian invasion. This was really 
really cool. Thanks, Nathan. This is from Anik from Hong Kong. Oh, that's cool. Ah, you made a little teaser for the Greenland Geography Go episode, ah, summer 2017. Thanks for doing that, Anik. And uh, thanks for the really cool Hong Kong postcard. Zoltan from Serbia. I love your videos and can't wait for the Serbia episode. I sent you a little bribe to hurry it up. It's a 100 dinar bill with the greatest man in the whole world, Nikola Tesla. P.S. It's worth less than one dollar. Ryan from Tennessee drew a picture of me. However, uh, Ryan, uh, I don't exactly have blue eyes, but that's okay. That's okay. I appreciate it. Fabian from Germany. Oh, a lot of tape. More snacks. Oh, dark chocolate. I love this stuff. Okay, Fabian, thank you. I'm gonna save this for another five weeks. A Westphalia flag from Germany. Man, oh, Fabian, you look like you had a lot of fun. Thank you, Fabian. Nobuharu from Japan sends these really cool pictures and postcards and images of these really awesome places like the thatched roof houses of Shirakawa Go and Gokayama. And he said uh, he married an American woman and so his two kids are hapas, just like me, half Asians. Ah, that's so cool, man. Thanks so much, Nobuharu. Oh, that's so cool. I got a letter from Owen who is half Syrian and he drew a map of Syria with the flag and the uh, 14 governance listed here of Syria. That's really cool. Thanks, Owen. And finally, this bad boy is from Jeff from Osaka, Japan. Man, Jeff, you packed this up really, really well. For wrapping, he used like some kind of Japanese cartoon thing. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, why, why, why did you? Uh, Japanese snacks are so good. Jeff, I'm gonna hold on to these for five weeks. Okay, I swear I'm gonna try them. What is this even? It's like rose flavored Kit Kat? What? Grape flavored Pocky? Cheese brulee? Oh my, God. no. Ow. Gooey honey filled mochi things. Oh. Sushi shaped lollipops. I've included lots of Japanese snacks and photos from my cherry blossom viewing trip. I saw in a Flag Friday video that your mom wanted green tea. I don't know what kind of green tea your mom wanted, so I sent three kinds. Yes! Okay, so I can have tea. You sent me something I can actually consume. Tea. I will drink your tea. Finally, someone sent something that I cannot, like, hold on for five weeks. Thank you, Jeff. So as you guys can see, it's getting a little dark. I gotta end this video soon, but before I do, return address contest. Let's go. Yeah, not looking, not looking, not looking. And Petra from the Slovak Republic, you just won. So thank you guys for watching. Next week, Guyana is going to come up. Hope you like it. Stay cool. Stay tuned.